Okay, so in this video, we are going to attempt to uh, create a blog post around an air fryer that uh, uh, you are selling, basically. So this is not an affiliate blog, okay? This is a blog post about a particular product that you build and you are trying to sell. Uh, or it's, a, or let's say, it's a single product that you are trying to promote for someone else in your blog post, right? Or it could also be an affiliate blog post where you're talking about uh, many kinds of air fryers uh, and their benefits. So we are going to attempt to create a blog post around an Amazon product that GPT-3 or no other technology has idea about. It's a new product and uh, there's very little information out there there that you and used in your blog post. So you require tons of research back and forth within Amazon, rewriting sentences, making sense of it, extracting benefits out of it, right? Like it's gonna be tons and tons of information uh, that you're gonna probably need. So what we will attempt is uh, try and easily create a post. So let's go ahead and get started. Super cool air fryer benefits, a giant list of benefits. Air fryer benefits, the six best reasons to get one. Learn, okay, so this this is really good, right? Has higher CTR value as well. Uh, learn the benefits of using an air fryer for your kitchen. Benefits of using an air fryer, the healthier way to fry. I like this actually, so healthier way to fry. And that's why we actually bought it at our home. <clears throat> okay. Let's go ahead and generate some meta description without compromising the taste. Air fryers are a healthy way to cook. This is really good. So, but this does not have my benefits. Uh, healthy way to cook. Uh, helpful for your health, right? So, can be can benefit your health. Can benefit, right? So, we'll just change that a little bit. Uh, fryer can be helpful for your health. Uh, can be. benefit uh, or has health benefit right fire okay all right for your buying needs okay now I have everything that I need so let's go ahead and click next go ahead and click uh, generate outline what is an air fryer Okay, so it's generating outlines. Let's just give it a second. Okay, now I generated all the outlines. What is an air fryer? What are the benefits of using an air fryer? Uh, okay, let's keep going. Which types of air fryer are the best ones for your need? Okay, air fryer versus microwave. Okay. Uh, what is a chip air fryer? No, no, no. What are the benefits of using one? Okay, uh, so this is also a microwave one. So, okay, we can just go ahead and click next and then we can elaborate later on. So what is an air fryer? Let's generate concepts and see what is an air fryer. An air fryer claims to mimic the results of deep frying with little or no oil. There are all kinds of things you can fry from frozen chicken wings, homemade uh, French fries to roasted vegetables. And so this is not any GPT-3 driven data. This is actual SERP data that now we are going to use in order to construct this particular uh, content for us. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, you can see that. There we go. Okay, all right, so now an air fryer at the kitchen. So, um, okay, so you see all the concepts that and all the content that it generated. So you can easily transition this into uh, an intro paragraph and uh, actually create content around it. If you don't want to use concepts for this, you can also use answer for me and it will give you a very precise answer uh, that you can do. Like, okay, there we go, see. So it in just less than actually a minute, we build out a section and it would take me less than two, three minutes to actually adjust this and make it into a proper paragraph that can actually provide value to the users that I am catering to. So, okay, that's great. Now let's see what are the benefits of air fryer. Air food all the year than deep fried foods. Air fried versus deep fryers, we don't need that. So what it's actually telling us that we need to talk about deep fryers and air fryers and what are the benefits of it. So it will quickly pick up this concept automatically and help you write, uh, even though it has very little context for this. So let's say air fruit is a healthier dry food. All right. Okay. There we go. And then we'll talk about what is the difference between them versus, okay, higher temperatures, okay. And then 
there are many benefits to using air fryer, low fat calories and harmful compounds that can be found in fried food. If you are looking for a healthier way to cook, an air fryer can be the answer. So you understand like it was so easy for me to benefit, uh, to build out a benefit of an air fryer just in a blimp of a second, right? So this is amazing. Uh, right, let's go ahead and look at next. What type of air fryers are the best for you? Now here's where the challenge of my particular product not anyone else's product. So I need to insert information from uh, my custom research, not from SERP, from custom research to talk about a particular product that I am selling. So what I will do is let's go ahead and look at this Amazon product that I found, Chorus Air Fry Max XL. Copy this and use this. So why? Why we need to use this particular product. I have no idea or GPT-3 has no idea what this particular product is uh, and how is it related on Amazon. And uh, I mean, the only way to write content around this up till right now was for you to actually go to Amazon, f find this information, make sense of it, rewrite it, add value to it, and then make it your own, right? What we are going to do in here is instead, well, here, there we go. So let me go ahead and copy this content I'm not even going to read it. Uh, well, let me see show more, right? So it's a little more information here. Uh, and I can just grab this content from it. I'm here, click here and insert my custom content in it and say, I want to talk about this course air fry, right? Generate concepts. So this is generating concepts. Uh, to help you build a paragraph. But what if you don't want to build a paragraph? And what if you want to build a listicle view that describes all the features of this particular product? So what I will do now is take a slightly different approach. Click here and click features and see I want to collect all the features about this particular product. Look at that. All right. This is what I'm talking about features of uh, Chorus Airfry. So let's go ahead and copy this. It. features features make it bold you guys can see this uh, and let me push this down so and make this screen a little bigger so you guys can read it okay so this is uh, features these are all the features that it uh, gave me so I can start copying them right into the editor uh, and these are already rewritten to a maximum level so there we go and you can obviously elaborate upon any of these concepts and create paragraphs out of it. Uh, and this is not relevant, so don't see. A, a removable basket with dishwasher safe, POAV. Like, how, how good is this, right? Like, I mean, can it get any better? You have no idea of what the product does, but you can easily copy all of these concepts in and uh, start creating your content. So. Okay, I, uh, I'm just gonna do a f quick few things from here and then I click on and this is my feature list. Now let's say I want to talk about pros. I want to talk about pros. Okay, so let's minimize this and I'm going to add a topic here and it's I call it pros. And I will also create a topic which says cons. Okay, we'll see if we can pull out all the cons and pros as well, right? Uh, about this particular product from actual data. So what we'll now do is go to Amazon and because I am giving my honest reviews, I wanna understand what people are talking about and then use that and leverage that to create my content around. Okay, so great, this is a five star, right? Like the user uh, has no idea. Oh, well, users give a star to this particular product. Uh, and uh, this is great. This is a very long review. I'd skip that, but this one, okay. This is a negative feedback. So uh, this is a negative feedback. This is a positive feedback. So let's take this positive feedback. I'll take one negative and one positive and show you how you can build out your pros and cons. Okay, so this is pros. Let's keep enter here. I am going to go to the pros, open this up, edit it, and insert my one review in here, uh, which is mostly positive. So it can give me more concepts which are positive. So I would say benefits and click generate concepts. The number of presets is more than any other air fryer. It's easy to clean in the dishwasher. It can be used on daily basis. The stakes are 
moist inside, which is nice change. Fryer is easy to use and it can be, uh, it doesn't take much space. Fryer does not uh, make a lot of noise. So it's perfect for cooking in kitchen. So can you believe this guys? This is already rewritten to the maximum level. Okay, so if you copy this and you go to Amazon and you find this, you are not going to find it. This is plagiarism free. Uh, this is great news, right? So uh, you, all you have to do is now start adding your cons list how easy it would be for you to build out a product a product blog page or even an affiliate blog page with similar category or similar electronics right uh, it can talk about pretty much any any anything so now let's go ahead and look at some benefits so i've constructed my pros now i want to construct my cons i will go to amazon i will grab the least favorite of this particular review we'll come here add this in here and we can generate uh, disadvantages for it and it will start generating all the cons inconsistent inconsistent cooking time lack of usage instructions poor quality no fan or uh, fire included difficult in cooking with the product shorter lifespan with uh, when using non frying methods can you believe this guys like this is what i am talking about um easy to understand, easy to grab concepts from, easy to create content and lay out the fun foundation for the content that is absolutely brilliant for search engines. Uh, it is more readable than actually what people wrote on Amazon. So more people can understand it. Variety of audience can understand it. It is already rewritten to uh, a second grader uh, readability. So it's, it's the quality is very amazing and it's actually fact it's actually factually true uh, and it is supporting existing content so um, i hope you really enjoyed this video and uh, we will see you in the next video